Finally, we have Gaussian splitting in Houdini 21, and this was a small piece we were missing in Houdini. But let me ask you this, what the heck is Gaussian splitting and why we need it? So in this video, we will talk about that. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. welcome to my channel, and I hope you are enjoying this series of hoodie 21 first look and bro i'm so excited that was a lot to be honest and in this video we will show you the gaussian splatting we have in houdini 21 as you can see they showed us this amazing capture by the environment you see all this nonsense what is that maybe you ask yourself why we need this in houdini and we will talk about that in this video but before i begin let me thank these amazing people that support me on my website thank you guys i'm so appreciated honestly so first what is gaussian splatting so as you can see it's the next level of photogrammetry it's representing the 3d scene as a soft particle point instead of voxel or polygon they call this soft particle gaussian blob and it's contain a lot of data and it can render complex scene very fast and efficient what is complex scene for photogrammetry for example reflective surface or this glass material yeah with photogrammetry it was so headache but in gaussian splatting it's gone it's solved you see Another benefit of Gaussian splatting is the compositing. As you can see in this shot in After Effects, you can load your Gaussian splatting and you can interact with it. You can have your camera movement or place your 3D object instead of rotating that. This is very cool as you can see. In this shot you see, instead of doing all this alpha or king or chroma key for this grass implant, you can have your 3D object in between that and render that. It's very cool. And a lot of users using an amazing thing. You see, you can uh, capture Mac Mini and you can capture yourself and you can have something like that. Very cool. And as you can see, all this scene captured by Gaussian splatting technique. Wow, this is very cool to be honest. And all this detail, just imagine you can have your VFX shot in between this environment. And even they did a commercial with that. And this is, as you can see with this hilarious head, they using 4D Gaussian splatting. What is 4D Gaussian splatting? It's animated version. It's not static environment. It's not static point. It's animated point. But... Maybe in the future we will talk about that more. So far so good. If you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Share it if you want. I will be so grateful, guys. So the next question is how we can get our Gaussian splatting locally in our computer and instead of uh, online solution because we have a many online solution like Luma AI, etc. But how we can get that locally? And as you can see, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to give you a complex solution from github and manual configuration terminal stuff etc i will give you the nice and simplest one we have this post shot as you can see this is very cool software and simple to use and this an amazing software it's known software for uh, capturing gaussian splatting on your computer and if you want a mobile solution or iPhone solution, you can say, you can use Kiri Engine. And as you can see, we have this shot. As you can see, this is a complex one in night. And this is our post shot. And as you can see, I'm loading our sequence here. And as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, this option. You can downgrade your uh, uh, image for uh, capturing that faster. And you can choose your algorithm and you can train your model as you can see it will image processing that and camera tracking that and it will train your gaussian splatting and they give you gaussian splatting and as you can see this is our scene it did a very gr uh, great job with 
camera tracking as you can see you see this is the path of uh, the camera and as you can see this is the scene the overall scene of course and as you can see this is a very cool just with simple step of course you can look that online and uh, learn more about post shot and as you can see we have this uh, bounding box or crop box you can crop your scene just only the subject and you can export that as a plv file this is a 3d file and it's of course uh, able to create this animated sequence also but maybe in the future about that because it's more complex to achieve something like that as i researched so this is our gaussian splatting now we have our gaussian splatting how we can you use it in houdini yeah this is so interesting you can use a file node and you can load your file plv plv file and as you can see it's contained more data and only point but how we can use all that data if you're interesting and if you are geeking into this you can use a point triangle and you can have some code from chat gpt for example to get all the data back the color and the point size etc and you can retrieve your scene and do whatever you want with it as you can see you can mesh it and you can delete uh, unnecessary point etc but we have another solution called g subs by these guys uh, this is a uh, multiple hda and this is very cool one you can achieve something like that they work a lot for this and if you're interesting you can manipulate your gsplat with these tool set so check that out in houdini 21 we have another tools new tools as you can see we, we can go in stage as you can see and i will go import our file plv file and as you can see we don't have anything right and in here in sub we can use bake g splat and as you can see now we have our gaussian splatting rendering using karma this is very cool and simple to achieve right and you can of course light your scene uh, and you can add a more object to it and if you don't have any shadow in here you can go in uh, bake g split g split and as you can see you can uncheck this one and you will have your shadow you see this is very cool but maybe in the future we'll do something very crazy to it and as antigma did that already you can check this video they did amazing job just manipulating this point and returning that using the form point and yeah you can check that video too so with that See you in the next one and see ya.